Happy Boxing Day, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a full case break of that. Optic football. Let's pick your team number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you to everyone. Hopefully everyone had a good Christmas, a good holiday. There it is on the 26th. Pick your team six. Thanks to everyone here. Good luck. Looks like Ziggy has the Texans. I think Roy's got, a, Roy's got the Bears in this. He's looking for the biscuit. All right, there it is. Now settle in, folks. This is this is a uh, easily an hour-long break. Maybe even a little bit longer. I just got back from Vegas for the holidays. My sister lives there, and so we were out and about. I made this big, big made the big long drive back and head, headed straight to the shop here in Redondo Beach. Kind of took forever. Next year, I was telling everybody next year. I'm just going to take this day off. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. But listen, I think we're all enjoying the the taking a break from all the po uh, post-holiday, post-Christmas madness. We'll just take it nice and easy today, folks. All right, good luck, everyone. Oh, you know what? We can actually we'll actually go through some of the uh, the football action that happened. Well, I'll I'll ask you first. Um, what do you think was the big uh, what was the big football news of the of the weekend for you, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think? Because we I left you on Friday. So there were some Saturday games. Ravens 23, Colts 16. I felt like that was to be expected. Right? Although I feel like the Colts maybe had it was a, was a little bit closer than we than we thought. Uh, Rory not happy with the Packers Saturday performance. Vikings 16 nil. 16 love. Packers, they, the Vikings pitched a shutout. Was Jameis throwing a tantrum? He doesn't. He, he doesn't like eating L's. He wants to eat W's. I, I did. I actually did not know that. Well, the Saturday games, I feel like for neutral fans, I don't know if they were. If they were inspiring, uh, inspiring games for for people on Saturday, but there you go. On Sunday, the the slate of games on Sunday, Bengals taking care of Bengals showing some life at the end of the season, twenty six seventeen over the Lions. Chiefs also deciding that they want to be they want to look more like a playoff team, twenty nine thirteen over the Dolphins. Patriots destroying the Bills, thirty seven to sixteen. Browns. Browns are just terrible. 20 to 3. Bears beating the Browns 20 to 3. Panthers beating the Buccaneers 22 to 19. The James Winston Tantrum game. All right, here we go. Box number 1. There is one autograph that says find one autograph per box on average. There you go. A couple hot boxes usually we can find in this set too. And we're going to start off with Dwayne Smoot. An autograph this early may indicate a, uh, a hot box. Let's adjust the camera angle a little bit here. Good luck, everyone. We've got Demarcus Walker. And it is a hot box. Trent Taylor. Red for the 49ers. That'll be for Vic. 23 out of 50 on that one. And I'll, I'll sleeve all these up, but we'll top load these later before they ship out, just for the sake of sake of time. Great Iron Kings not numbered. Another Demarcus Walker, this time red, 43 out of 99. And... 
There's the Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye, 132 out of 149. I did not realize that uh, James Harrison is going to the Patriots. Well, that's good. It shores up. It's good for the Patriots. So a couple of Demarcus Walkers for the Bron Broncos. That'd be Kyle Kramer with those parallels. Elijah McGuire for the Jets out of 299. That'll be for Sam. And Taco Charlton, blue. Nice Taco Charlton for the Cowboys, James. What's up, Adam? What's going on? That's 9 out of 25. There you go. Oh, free tacos for life, huh? Oh, is that why? Huh. Part of that solid uh, Cowboys defense. Malik Hooker, also solid. And we've got points. That takes the place of the fourth auto in this hot box. Miles Garrett out of 199 for the Browns. That'll go to Adam Kupperman and the Browns. Von Miller, 15 out of 149. Goes to the Broncos, another parallel for Kyle Kramer. Terrell Pryor Sr. out of 299 for the Redskins. That'll be for Connor. And that is that. Uh, remember for these points cards, if there's uh, additional points cards, we'll randomize them all together as one lot to one person in the break. So keep that in mind. What a disappointing season for Terrell Pryor Sr. Right? He was supposed to be like a big offensive weapon for the big offensive weapon for the Redskins, but that just never panned out. All right, next box. Uh, no, box number one, TJ. No bills as of yet. Second box. Good luck, everybody. We were going through some scores earlier before I started the first box. Uh, Dwayne Smoot for the Jaguars. That's for Derek Sears. He had the uh, he had the first one. Hi, Will. Um, let's see, Saints twenty three, Falcons thirteen. I thought the Falcons would put up more of a fight in that game. They did not. Uh, Redskins 27-11 over the Broncos. Very weird season for the Bron weird season for the AFC West. I feel like just in general, um, the Titans kept it close, but the Rams ended up pulling away and winning their division, winning the uh, winning the NFC West for the first time in ages. Uh, Chiefs are the best ever. Not sure if they're the best ever. There's been a lot, a lot of teams in football that have looked better than the Chiefs. Chiefs had a weird middle part of the season. They've only just decided that, that they wanted to play like a playoff team. Uh, Chargers 14-7 over the Jets. The, uh, the Niners in a shootout. The, the Jimmy Garoppolo, dust off your Jimmy Garoppolo cards, folks. 44 to 33. The Niners over the Jaguars. The Jaguars, a lot of infighting on that sideline, I feel like. There were, there, there were some moments where there were some Jaguars players kind of yelling at each other. Uh, Seahawks bouncing back from a bad loss. 21 12 over the Cowboys. The Cowboys not bouncing back after their win over my Raiders. Cardinals pitching a shutout, shutting out the Giants 23 to 0. 
Steelers, 34-6 over the Texans. And of course, in a very sloppy football game, the, the Eagles covering at the very last play with 19-10 uh, over my Raiders. Weird, bad season for my Raiders, too. There's Jabril Peppers for the Browns out of 199. For the Browns, that is Adam Kupperman. Are Jimmy Garoppolo cards going through the roof, Kyle Kramer? I did not see that Hopkins catch, no. Chad Williams, Cardinals, out of 149. Corey Davis for the Titans, the rookies. That's 149 out of 149. eBay one of one, Adam Kupperman, if you believe in that sort of thing. Sometimes these are number two. This one is not. There's Elijah Hood. Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins, he's one of those guys where, where it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. I mean, he could still make some amazing plays. That is definitely not – that is definitely a receiver who is not dependent on his quarterback. I mean, some of his, his, his numbers will go down, but, you know, like when Brock Osler was throwing to him. But he can still just make amazing plays. 135 on 149, Phillip Rivers. Joe Mixon. Nice, 11 out of 25. You can tell, if you see me blowing by these rated rookie cards, when it looks when that when that area looks like that, not a parallel. When it looks like that, then you know it's a parallel. All right here, so that goes to the Bengals, of course. That is Chris Parent. With that one, the Chargers parallel in that old retro style. That'll go to Ed Aarons, who has the last spot mojo. There's Allen Robinson for the Jags out of 149. Let me set that right there. Kyle Kramer says, call me crazy, but I take Hopkins over Julio on my team. Give Hopkins, Matt Ryan, or a good QB. I, I think I would tend to agree. There's a, you know, there's a, Julio Jones is great. Let's, let's not, I mean, we're splitting hairs here. Let's, let's not. I'm not trying to be down on Julio Jones. He's an awesome receiver. There's Deshaun Kaiser. On-card autograph, rated rookie. That goes to Adam Kupperman and the Cleveland Browns. There you go. Nice. 58 out of 150. Hopefully he... Man, who knows? Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he'll bounce back next year. Out of 299, Gerald Everett for the Rams. You never know. People people left Jared Goff for dead last year. Now look at him. There's that. Um, I think I would take Hopkins over Julio as well to finish that thought. I mean, there's a reason why... Um, Julio Jones does get a lot of red zone targets, if you kind of notice. That's like the kind of like the the, the, the big thing about the big secret about um, about Julio Jones. He's not getting red zone targets because I don't think he's that good in the red zone. I mean, he can make big plays, that's for sure. But I mean, that's part, that's one part of his part of his game that's just lacking just a little bit. But man, DeAndre Hopkins with a quarterback like Matt Ryan or Drew Brees or any, any of those gunslinging type quarterbacks. Ooh. William Hummel asking Todd Gurley the MVP? Sure, why not? Does Hopkins not? I thought. I thought. I think Hopkins gets a lot more red zone targets though than Julio Jones though, doesn't he? I feel like Hopkins doesn't get red zone targets because of his quarterbacks. Uh, I don't think Tom Brady's going to be the MVP. Yeah. Oh, these are both. These are both Patriots fans who are saying that. Seabass DeVos 423 
and Boston Graphs both have Patriots in their thumbnail photo. You know? Yeah, I think it was a good move. Good for James Harrison. No, yeah, Tom, Tom Brady, Tom Brady not going to, uh, not going to win the MVP. I think Gurley is a good candidate. There's Jeremy Sprinkle, who's going to open up a cupcake shop post-career. That's fake news, but I'd like him to. Got Sammy Watkins at a two ninety nine for the Rams. We got Hassan Reddick for the Cardinals. That'll be for James S. <laughs> Seabass, do you know? Do you watch football at all? Seventy six. Clearly, he doesn't because he says Gurley, Todd Gurley sucks. <laughs> clearly, you've not been watching football in two thousand seventeen. Uh, that'll be randomized. Chris Berman, fans of the game, has an NFL shield there. 34 out of 50, Pierre Garçon. That'll go to the Niners. That'll be for Vic. 76 out of 149, Christian McCaffrey goes to the Panthers. That'll be for Cruz. Oh, you have been watching football in 2017. Well... <laughs> If that was the case, then I don't think you would be saying that Todd Gurley sucks. He, he obvious, very obviously does not. <laughs> well, Kyle, you're right. Kyle Kramer saying Patriots' time is coming. They'll be in the pit of misery for 20 years after Tom Brady. Well, football does run in cycles. 192 out of 199, Brian Hill, rated rookie. For the Falcons, Tim H. Sports always runs in cycles. It's cyclical. There's Marlon Humphrey. So ultimately, you know, teams will always rise and fall. Sixty-one out of seventy-five, Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens. That'll be for Michael Gallucci in this hot box. Odell Beckham Jr., 006, 006 out of 149. Fans of the game, nice, for the Vikings, 134 out of 149. Joey Belladonna, Anthrax. There's Todd Gurley. We're just talking about him. Out of 199. Great season for him. And the Rams. That goes to James Allen. And there's Malachi Dupree. Rated rookie on card autograph. That'll go to Chris Parent and the Packers. Parent and the Packers. 19 out of 50. Someone was asking about, uh, yeah, McCaffrey or Kamara for Rookie of the Year? That's a good question. All right, so in the second hot box right here, there you go. Those are your autographs. Next box. Yeah, Kareem Hunt could still win it. Kind of some soft games in the middle of the season, but yeah, the, well, the team in general has bounced back, and he's had a couple nice bounce back games. But he might have an outside chance. He's a. Uh, 
bounce back nicely sort of here at the end of the season. This is why people hate Patriots fans. Tom Brady, apparently Seabass is saying Tom Brady should win Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. What, what is this? I don't, I don't know what M is. And uh, MVP. Just, just. Oh, man of the year? Man. Does does your love for Tom Brady have no bounds? Tom Brady. Tom Brady snake oil salesman. I think, I think TB12 is going to turn out to be... All that diet stuff that he does is going to turn out to be like a big scam. It's going to be like... <laughs> if you have the... If you are blessed with the genetics of Tom Brady to be able to play football for that long, then maybe it'll work for you. But... Uh, Paul T. was saying a little bit earlier, Carson Wentz, does he still have a chance at the uh, at the MVP? It's a possibility. Eli Manning out of 299. Yeah, I don't think Tom Brady would ever type the words wink, wink. 39 out of 99, Gridiron Kings, the famous, eating L's, not W's. Evan Ingram, one of the bright spots for the Giants. That's out of 199. That'll be for James Allen and the New York Football Giants. Mike Wallace, 17 out of 50. That'll go to the Ravens. Deshaun Watson for the Texans, the rookies. Insert 85 out of 149. That'll go to the Texans. That'll be for Ziggy. We got Big Ben. Two out of 99. Steelers. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. We got TJ Watt and JJ Watt. These illusions cards will do randomizers left and right. And Jamal Williams, 54 out of 125, is your rated rookie autograph. Fifty-four out of one twenty-five. Packers. That'll be Chris Parent. There's Matt Ryan. Out of one forty-nine. And Jordan Leggett in the back. Kyle Kramer doesn't know why, but he wants a Jake Butt autograph. He definitely was born to be a tight end, William Hummel. That is correct. He is a tight end. He can play no other position. All right, next box.
so is is the playoff picture done? Is is everything set? Is there is there anything still remaining in the playoff picture? Oh, you got your one of one Richard Sherman today, Kyle Kramer. Nice. Congrats on that again. Oh, I guess the Chargers and the Bills are still mathematically in it. And I think it looks like the Seahawks are still mathematically in it. So there's still some, still some stuff there. Yeah, and the AFC wild cards. So well, yeah, what are the what what are the implications? So Kyle's saying that the Seahawks have to beat the Cardinals. And the Falcons have to beat Carolina. Gotcha. Yeah, what, if, what if both win? I don't know what the... Are there some tiebreaker implications? And looks like the... Looks like the Titans, Ravens... Some combination of Titans, Ravens, Chargers, and Bills will be... Uh, will be in the playoffs as well, two of those four teams. Oh, you're saying that the Seahawks have possibly have the tiebreakers over over the Falcons, gotcha. And John saying Bill Bills have to beat the Dolphins, I believe. If they win, then they're in. One ninety nine, Chad Kelly. Yeah, it's just. And there's the Mitch Trubisky, one hundred one out of one hundred fifty. There you go, Rory. Mitch Trubisky on card rated rookie auto graph, auto graph. Nice. I see that Adam Kupperman. I do. One hundred one out of one hundred fifty. That's clearly not not him, Boston Graph. <laughs> Jordan Willis would not even give him that distinction out of 299. He's just timed out. He just just needs to take a breath. I'm getting too worked up a little bit. There's Superman, Cam Newton. 29 out of 149. That'll go to the Panthers. That'll be for Cruz. Rory. I pulled him the Mitch Trubisky. That's what he wanted. Gilo, what's going on, man? How does Mitch Trubisky look? Uh, he looks okay, I think. I think I think maybe ideally the coach has, you know, the team I think maybe would have wanted this entire year for him to get seasoned a little bit, so he was kind of out there a little bit earlier. But from what I understand, he seems to have, like, the respect of the, uh, of, like, his teammates, of the offense. You know, and I think he's been he's been showing some improvements from from uh, from week to week. You know, small marginal improvements, but showing those improvements from week to week, I think that's been very encouraging for the Bears. Hey, you're welcome, Rory. Congrats, man. In a parallel too. Um, one hundred eight out of one forty nine. Demarco Murray, Gridiron Kings. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. And nice Matthew Days out of twenty five. Seventeen out of twenty five. For days and days for Adam Kupperman and the Browns. 
Boston grabs Ash. Oh, Ziggy needs out, so now I need to take care of Ziggy here. So you want this case to have a Mitch Trubisky and a Deshaun Watson. Okay, Ziggy. I'm game. I'll try. We'll see if this case cooperates. Uh, Boston Graf's asking, is Belichick going to regret trading Jimmy Garoppolo for essentially nothing? I'm, I, yeah, I actually don't quite understand that. Were they going to lose him to, like, I mean, we're, I actually don't know how that works. Did they, would they have to, I guess, signing him as a backup maybe was just not worth it? Was he going to be a, a free agent? I, I'm assuming he was. Maybe they just didn't want to commit the amount of money that he would get just for being a a backup to Tom Brady. Yeah, it's kind of a difficult situation if you're if you're the Patriots organization. Oh, they could have franchised him. Isn't franchising a quarterback tough though with the with the contracts that they get? Maybe they still could have, yeah. Um the Patriots are entering the, this this odd zone um, that a lot of teams with, you know, the sort of legendary players will kind of have to go through. You know what I mean? Like, the Lakers. Like, what are they going to do? Are, were they not going to sign Kobe Ryan, you know, for those two extra years? Yeah, you think the, do you think the Saints are really going to trade Drew Brees? You know, everyone, maybe a year or two ago, people were talking about, like, oh, yeah, they should, they should just start over. They should just trade Drew Brees, get a bunch of draft picks, and blah, blah. Look at this season. You know what I mean? That's why you kind of hold on to those guys. You know, so it's easier said than done getting rid of like these franchise players and, and, and rebuild and look to the future. So through thick or thin, you're kind of stuck with these guys. You know, like the Patriots will go through, unless Brady retires, you know, before any of this happens. But if Brady keeps going then they're going to have to go through years where um, they're going to have to go through years where there'll be you'll see like a not very good Tom Brady like kind of like the last few years of Peyton Manning's career <laughs> It's all right, Seabass. You just got to realize that we got to have conversations here. This is not like you know, you looking for attention kind of thing. Now we're, have a conversation, man. Out of 299, Jordan Howard. That goes to the Bears. That's another one for Rory. This is true, yeah. Kobe wasn't winning champion. No, nor was there a championship team around Kobe at the end. This is true. There's Alshon Jeffrey at a 99. There's Ben Roethlisberger, 45 out of 99. And TJ Watt is your auto red autograph. TJ Watt. Turn down for what, Michael Gallucci? Steel curtain with that one. It's 30, uh, 38 out of 50. Oh, you think the Patriots trade with the Browns for a first pick in 2018? What could they what could get what could they give the Browns for a first round pick? What assets do they have, Ziggy? I feel like they don't have the assets that the Browns would like or want. Carson Palmer out of 149, Cardinals. Jordan Reed goes to Connor, and the Carson Palmer goes to James. Illusions, Deshaun Watson, 3 out of 99. See, this will be a separate randomizer, Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton. Kyle Kramer can't believe he has to root for Cam Newton. I think the Harrison deal was a was a good deal. Well, I think if the Colts had had luck, Brad, I think it would be be a lot different. There's Brad Hoyer, out of fifty. We won't hear from Brad Hoyer again. Sorry, Brad. 
Cruz, did have a good Christmas. Hope yours was good as well. Kobe was an arrogant weight that destroyed the Lakers. What are you talking about? No, it was the front office, Ziggy. Kobe Bryant actually took a pay cut from that two-year contract that he signs. The, the Lakers had at least a max contract and a half, maybe even two max contracts when they signed Kobe that contract. And instead, they chose to sign a, an old, an old uh, Steve Nash and a bunch of, yeah, it was just, it was just a lot of bad front office moves, which is why that front office isn't there. Now, Kobe delivered chips upon chips, Ziggy. Did not, did not destroy the Lakers at all. That, that is a common misconception. I do remember that. Remember how they for, filed, for, forgot to file that paperwork, the Browns? So yeah, maybe they maybe they would give the Patriots a first round pick. Roy Boy is asking an uncomfortable question, but that should be discussed. Is Andrew Luck a bust? Anyone care to tackle that one? Is Andrew Luck a bust? It's hard to say. I can't really call people who've had injuries a bust. Right, like if injuries slowed them down. If they were, if if Andrew Luck was completely healthy and he just wasn't very good, you know, um, then I, then then I would say that maybe he would be a bust. But I, it's hard to call someone with that many injuries a bust. I'm, I'm kind of uncomfortable with that, you know, but. But yeah, I mean, give him a few more healthy seasons, you know. I mean, let's just let's let's see let's see what happens, you know. Before we, we before we put that tag on him, but I mean, it's I don't think he is. It's a fair question to maybe start thinking about in the back of your head. But um, you know, it's a fair question to put in the back of your head. But I don't know if if, if that's quite a, a yes yet. Well, Ziggy, there are a lot of no, no. I don't think no athlete should be a role model. All right, here we go. And Ziggy says that Andrew Luck is a bust. Forty-four out of ninety-nine illusions, both for the Niners. And wow, Brian Hoyer. <laughs> one of one, Brian Hoyer. I mean, it's still a one of one, Vic. It's still a train whistle. It's still a all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Brian Hoyer, Super Fractor. Still one of one. <laughs> Gilo saying, "Is the real the real question is is Brian Hoyer a bust?" <laughs> uh, out of one forty nine, that's Ladanian Tomlinson for the Chargers. That'll be for Ed. Uh, there's Russell Wilson, two sixty five out of two ninety nine, and Taiwan Taylor is your autograph. One of the nicest autos in the hobby. Adam with the Titans. Out of 150. Look at this. A, Ma a bonus autograph. Mac Hollins rated rookie auto for Ryan and the Eagles. Uh, 
Nice. There's Tredavious White for the Bills at a 299. That's another randomizer, 27 out of 149 between these two teams. So Ziggy is saying that Luck is Andrew Luck is not the QB people want him to be. He's big, but not a good decision maker. He's got he's got protection problems. He's, that offensive line isn't super great. That's got to that's got to affect things too. I think he's done pretty. Uh, I think he's done pretty well his first few seasons uh, to kind of give him a little bit of a longer leash. But yeah, I think I think we're, we're you know. In a couple seasons or so, I think in one or two seasons, I think that will, I think if he doesn't have another good season or two, especially if he's fully healthy, then I think those questions will start being, uh, start being asked a lot more. <laughs> Cal Miner saying Tom Brady's the best? You mean like... Third string inside linebacker, Thomas Brady. That was drafted by like some random team like five years ago. Certainly not Tom Brady the quarterback. Tom Brady the quarterback is almost the very opposite of a bust. I think we've pulled some Miles Garrett autos before, uh, Boston. Ah, that's a good question, Tim H. Who do you think will be the Vikings quarterback next year? What's uh, I guess it, I think it depends on what's Case Keenum's contract status. Is he a free agent after this year? But you would have to think that they would they would they would give the job to Teddy Bridgewater at a camp. So, uh, William Hummel, real. Uh, what's up with Derek Carr? That is a very good question. Um, yeah, the, the code, the the offensive coordinator, not very good. That's an issue. If Case Keenum only has a one-year deal, then yeah, it's got to be Bridgewater then. Um, yeah, the offensive coordinator not very good. I think the injury, the uh, the back injury that that Derek Carr had, kind of threw him off a little bit. Amari Cooper starting the season off very poorly, that also affected things. There's Davis Webb. So I I, I think all those little things combined together. Uh, you know, the Raiders defense just not being very good. Out of 150, Davis Webb. That's for the Giants. That'll be for James Allen. I think that is, uh, you know, I think all those little things kind of came together for not only a bad season for the Raiders, a step back, a step back for Derek Carr's progression as well. Dory Jackson for the Titans. That'll go to Adam. There's Joe Mixon, 44 out of 99 for the Bengals. That'll go to Chris Parent. There's Taiwan Taylor, 100 out of 149. That'll go to the Titans, Adam K. There's Dalvin Cook, the rookies insert, 31 out of 99. There's Eddie Lacy, that's out of 199 for the Seahawks. 
That'll be for Cruz. Antonio Brown out of 149. Poor Antonio Brown. Is are you talking about Ezekiel Elliott? Yeah, I think he had a he had a solid season this year, didn't he? Just was interrupted. <laughs> I think I think the the Cowboys are a lot like the Raiders. You know what I mean? I think I think the Cowboys also took um, a number of steps back, or as a step back this season. I mean, people people were talking about a Raiders Cowboys Super Bowl early, like before the season started. You know what I mean? So I think uh, that clearly is not going to happen. <laughs> I think both teams took a step back this year, but I have a feeling both teams will be will be just fine after this season. You know, I think they'll retool, they'll gear they'll gear back up, you know, and they'll I think they should be they should be pretty good. Uh, no, case hit is uh we have not seen the case hit yet. Case hit is a relic auto ziggy. Derek needs some Jaguars. We'll try to find some Jaguars here. Eddie Lacy definitely a bust. William, that is for sure. I guess people do put the Cowboys in the Super Bowl every year. They've been so... I, I feel like they've, they're always, like, perennially close. I mean, at least they're getting into the playoffs, and everyone thinks, hey, just a couple things here and there could... You know, it just takes a lot of luck sometimes, too, to... to win the Super Bowl. Uh, I have no idea what's next, Virgil. Um, this break will be done in about, oh, I don't know, another 20 minutes or so. And once that's done, I only see two orders coming in. So uh, unless those two those two orders means that someone sold out a break, I don't think uh, I don't think we have anything filled up after this. So everything's wide open, ready to go. We can do more. We can do the second half of flawless baseball. We can do the second half of Bowman draft that we did a little bit earlier. We can do NT baseball. We we saw some teams move earlier today on NT baseball. We can do some of that. Preferred football random teams. We've got that available. And we've got a lot of stuff available on jazbeeshobbyman.com. So I'll just kind of go with the flow after this break is over. All right, there's Stefan Diggs at a 299. There's Amari Cooper who had a weird year. Just didn't quite start off just right. There is Chad Kelly out of 50. We got Ball Hawk, Ed Reed, 5 out of 99 for the Ravens. That'll go to Michael Gallucci. We can do NT football. We can do Chronicles baseball. We haven't seen that in a while. Oh, I think Kyle was talking about regular NT football, William. I know William... Hummel does love, there's uh, Raekwon for the Dolphins, does love the NT collegiate football, if anybody's into that one box break. There's Gronk, 16 out of 99 for Gronk. There is the case hit, and I think it's going to be a nice one. Wow, it's a one of one case hit. The Legend Series, Michael Strahan. Wow. Legend Series, Michael Strahan. One of one for the New York Football Giants. James Allen.
James Allen with the New York Football Giants. James Allen, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Woo! That is nice. That is strong. Congrats. I mean, not as like G Lo's like. Well, the Brian Hoyer blows that out of the water. Yeah, not as good as the not as good as the Brian Hoyer super fractor we pulled earlier in this break, but close. Seventy-seven out of one forty-nine. C.J. Beathard. And then we've got three boxes to go, folks. Yeah, two supers in one case. Yeah, there was one, uh, just a regular super fractor card, and then there was the super. With the auto, a legend as well. All right. Three boxes to go. That's three autographs to go. So good luck, everybody. Uh, I believe it is a sticker, yeah. Although I think they've, they've improved the design this year. They've improved the design this year where, where they kind of do a much better job kind of hiding that sticker. But yeah, you can tell that it is. All right, third to last box. Good luck, everyone. Very nice case hit for the Giants. Three autographs to go. Um, there is a patch auto per case unless something like this comes out, Rory. So I think that that will be considered the case hit. I mean, I don't know unless unless uh, unless this case decides to go bananas, and we'll see another one. But I think last time this happened, which was uh, Kyle Kramer's. One of one Richard Sherman autograph. I believe there were there was no patch auto in that case. Or was there? I don't think there was. Yeah, I do too. Cruz also saying that hey, I do like that faded window for the sticker. I agree. I mean that's one thing I've been saying for probably since I've been started breaking years ago, where I was just like, hey, listen, I, I know a lot of people don't like stick I don't mind the stickers as much, but I, I I do understand from from the manufacturer perspective that that sometimes stickers are going to be a a uh, a fact of life. You know what I mean? It's gonna happen. You know, just for a lot of reasons that that do make sense. But I just say, hey, listen, if, if stickers are gonna happen, you know, let's let's try to let's try to make the design. You know, build build a design the card so that'll kind of hide the fact that there's a sticker there. And I think they, they started to do that in this set, which I think is really nice. Oh, there was a case. So there was an Amara Darbo patch. Oh. So maybe there's still another uh, patch auto then. So there's still hope for another nice hit. All right, there's Greg Olson at a 299. That Greg Olson will go to Cruz and the Panthers. There's Jeremy Hill for the Bengals. At a 99, that'll be for Chris Parent. Dak Prescott for the Cowboys. 40 out of 99. That'll go to the boys. That'll be for James. And from James to James Connor, rated rookie autograph. That'll go to the Steelers, Michael Gallucci. 45 out of 75, nice. We've got an orange Jordan Howard, 47 out of 199 for Rory and the Bears. Cam Newton. Out of 149 for the Panthers, another parallel for Cruz. 
Deonta Foreman, Texans, Ziggy, 95 out of 99. Kurt Warner for the Rams, that's not numbered. Kid Reporter. And Mike Wallace, Baltimore, Purple Parallel, 34 out of 50 for the Purple Birds. That'll be Michael Gallucci as well. Two boxes to go. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. Let me sleeve all of these up. Two autographs to go, one per box. And we should be expecting a lot of parallels, too. Maybe we'll find another train whistle parallel. We've been kind of lucky with those today, in this case. And we have a bunch of randomizers to do, too. So we'll do that as well at the end. Tyrone's here. What's next? Nothing. Nothing's filled up. So whatever you want to do, jazbeeshobbyland.com. I, I see three orders coming in. I don't know who they're from, but I don't think anything, unless something's disappeared on the site. I see Rich with an order, Alan with an order, and JMac with an order. Ooh, Cruz asking uh, anyone down for some preferred. Sure, I would be. Someone said, uh, someone someone was uh, asking about the uh, random team break, that half case random team. NT baseball is something that people wanted to do. I think TJ and Arthur and among others wanted that NT baseball. I don't think anything's really close, Tyrone, so but we have plenty of time to go, so it's pretty much, pretty much you can help push something along. I think people are talking NT collegiate football. I see Steve Freeze with an order. Now, I don't know what these people are ordering yet. I have to go through those orders after the break, but we are getting close to finishing this break, so let's start looking ahead to the next one. By the time, we're, by the time all is said and done with this, we'll probably have another two hours left to go in the broadcast, so plenty of time to fill up more breaks. Um, maybe tomorrow on that one, Kyle Kramer. We can do another optic tomorrow. <laughs> After after my after my road trip from Vegas all the way back directly to work, I think uh, I think I might not make it through another case of optic football. But tomorrow I'll be refreshed and ready to rock and roll with everybody. But we have plenty of time to break, folks. So keep it going. Go to jazbeeshobbyland.com and just get into whatever you want to get into. I know there's a lot of choices. Now that makes it kind of difficult. I know everyone wants to everyone wants to break something that that they know will break tonight. I get it. But we need help on pretty much all the breaks. And I know a lot of people are waiting on a lot of breaks. So pretty much anything you buy into right now, ladies and gentlemen, will be something that will be well received by someone because there's a lot of people waiting on a lot of breaks. And we'll just keep chipping away at it little by little and we'll eventually do them all. All right, second to last box, two autographs to go at least. There's Carlos Henderson at a 299 for Kyle Kramer. There's Robert Davis out of 99 for Connor. There's Mike Evans, a lot of parallels here, out of 149 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Connor as well. And a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? There's Matt Forte. Jets out of 199. That'll be for Sam. So Steve said he just grabbed a spot in the one box break of Immaculate Football. I like that. We haven't done that in a while. Kyle Kramer is guessing Deshaun Watson on that redemption. That would make uh, that would make Ziggy very happy. At a two ninety nine, Tyrod Taylor for the Bills. Uh, that'll be for TJ. The Master Randy White thirty five out of ninety nine. I love these AKA inserts. That'll go to the boys and James.
Jamal Adams for the Jets out of 149 for Sam. Still trying to find an autograph, a Jets autograph for Sam. And that's it for the second to last box. Boston guessing Kaiser. Kyle Kramer saying Kaiser is signed. Any other guesses on this? All right, Alan guessing uh, Curtis Samuel. It's gonna be, Rory's guessing Kareem Hunt. It's gonna be Rory with bragging rights and Royal for speed. I think Kyle Kramer may have gotten in before the video lag. It's Kareem Hunt, rated rookie's autograph for the Chiefs. Cruz with the Chiefs. Sweet Kareems are made of these. Nice one, Cruz. Rated rookie's autograph. Look at those nice on-card autographs. All right. Last box, boys and girls. Good luck. Plenty of parallels and one more autograph to go. Cross your fingers. And good luck to everybody. I wish everyone could get an autograph out of this last box, but unfortunately that is not going to be possible. But I appreciate everybody getting into this break. This is Pick Your Team number six. The next one will be in the store uh, when this break is over, so keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com for more. Plenty of other football on jazbeeshobbyland.com as well. Ryan is looking for the Marino out of five. Have we hit like a, oh, we, we did hit like a big vet auto out of here, Ryan, but. Rory looking for more. Rory wants a, uh, oh, a Tariq Cohen autograph. And a Trubisky gold parallel, non-auto. All right, good luck, folks. Last box and then a bunch of randomizers to do. Points. <laughs> it was underwhelming. Uh, Flash 80, 77 out of 99 for the Niners. Vic with the Niners. So that'll be combined with the other points card. I wonder if that means that's the that takes the place of the autograph. There's uh, who was talking about you. 24 out of 149 for Cruz and the Seahawks. Gridiron King, 74 out of 99. DD Westbrook for the Jaguars, and only for Derek. There's Amari Cooper for my Raiders. Out of 190, I actually caught the ball in this picture right here. Out of 190, that must be last year's picture. Out of 199, I'll go to my Raiders. Weird season for my Tim H. With the Raiders. Oh no, we get an Evan, Evan Ingram. Nice, five out of 35, rated rookie autograph. Nice one for James Allen and the Giants. Great break for the Giants. Nice, so it wasn't just points. Get that little Evan Ingram autograph. Anything else? Oh, 
Another one. Jordan Leggett. Sam, we did it. I think Sam, Sam with the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. I think he's bought into like a few of these breaks. Has not pulled any Jets autographs whatsoever. But now, a two out of five. Jet, jet, jet. And a train whistle. Sam, we did it. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. So this is another hot box too. Marshawn Lynch at a 299. Beast mode. And Stacy Coley at the end. And there you have it, folks. That's the break. So let me sleeve all these up and we'll go into the randomizers. So all these cards that are sleeved will be top loaded before they ship out. Oh, yeah, no worries, Mark. I knew that would be a nice little uh, Christmas for you. All right, remember, we uh, we will combo the points together because I, I think it makes the points more worthwhile. We combo, we've been doing that for like the last few months. We've been putting, we've been randomizing them together as one lot. Um, on the randomizer, the second one will get this fans of the game, Chris Berman, rumbling, stumbling. These will be randomized separately because they're serial numbered, and these will be randomized, just the regular ones will be randomized left, right. Yeah, the, there's like three, yeah, there's like a three auto hot box, and then there's like four auto hot boxes. There's at least three though, or sometimes there's two with points. A warm box, says Alan Murdoch. Not yeah, a warm box. All right, so um, let's bring up the randomizers. How many do I need? I need a lot. One, two, three, four, and then the transcendent spot. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go to random.org. So we're using new dice. First one will be left and right on just those illusions cards that were just normal, regular ones. Then we have the out of uh, 149. Alvin Kamara and Darren Sproles, Saints Eagles, 27 out of 149. Then the lower number one was out of 99. That was the Deshaun Watson, Texans and Panthers. No worries, Ziggy. I appreciate you trying, though, man. Uh, let's get everyone's names here. Everyone has a shot at points. And the Chris Berman, rumbling, stumbling, rumbling. The Raiders uh, gets that one. That's my excellent Chris Berman impression. Um, now going back here, let's sort by your first names. Anyone who bought at least two spots gets one entry into the transcendent spot promo. So that's Adam, that's Chris, that's Connor, that's James, that's the other James, that's Cruz who bought four teams so he blocked someone from getting in. Karen is in, Kyle Kramer is in, Michael Gallucci is in, Ryan is in, Sam is in, Tim H is in. So out of 16, uh, there's 12 total entries out of 16. All right, and it'll be the name on top. Okay, so for all the randomizers using one dice roll, low number, I hope, this video's gone long enough. Ten, okay, 10. Six and four, six and four, 10 times. Left and right first. So 10 times for all the lists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. So the right side will get those cards. So all the teams on the right side on these illusions cards will get those. Next one, Saints Eagles, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Eagles are on top. So the fly eagles fly. That would be Ryan with that one. You get the 27 out of 149 Alvin Kamara, Darren Sproles illusions card. Ten times for the Texans and the Panthers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Stays with the Carolina Panthers. That goes to Cruz. So Cruz, you'll get the three out of 99 illusions card. Uh, name on top will get all the points. And then the second name will get this fans of the game 
Chris Berman. So he has that NFL shield in the top right corner. So we'll have to randomize it to one person in the break. So that means all the names are involved 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Name on top, Vic, with the uh, uh, 550 points. There you go. I can math. So you get all the points right there. And Connor W. Uh, with the fans of the game, Chris Berman card right here. So there you go. Nice. And now, last but not least, as the item description says, two, if you buy two teams, I'll get you at least one entry, or at least two teams, one entry, one entry max. Ten times, name on top, we'll get a transcendent baseball spot from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're almost we're getting closer. We're marching closer and closer on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time, Cruz. There you go, Cruz. Cruz gets a uh, 100 uh, gets a $155 value transcendent baseball spot. That's the 171 spot break on jazbeeshobbyland.com. You can buy a spot straight up. We're getting closer and closer to filling that one up. So check it out. We'll have more optic football on the website as well. This was break number six. Thanks very much, everyone. We will see you next time. Bye bye.